I'm Eric Edlin. I'm a graduate student at MIT in the Department of Physics. I work on the Alcator CMOG project, which is a tokamak investigating um, nuclear fusion. So our mission today is to power a supercomputer that's going to be simulating a tokamak plasma. The ultimate goal of the tokamak is to, say, produce energy from the combining or fusion of hydrogen isotopes into helium. There's no way that we can, say, understand directly what's going on in the center of this plasma. We can't stick a probe in there. Anything at 15 million degrees is going to get burned up. Computer simulations provide the way. It's like a, a looking glass into the center of the plasma. We're using the team's bicycle energy to power a series of supercomputers. In this demonstration, we're powering the computers and they're running code that will be used for researching alternative energy sources. This research will hopefully lead to a cleaner source of nuclear power for the future. So this is the wall plug, and we are not connected to the wall. So if they stop pedaling after a few minutes, we'd have to plug this in to keep the computer going. But right now, this plug is out, and we are living off of the bike rider. On one hand, we have a push with the tokamak towards a greener energy and an alternative energy source that could, say, last uh, thousands of years without any detrimental uh, effects to the environment. And on the other hand, we have a bicycle, which we know is a clean energy source. It allows people transportation throughout cities and across the country. And uh, ultimately, these two, I think, are in line. And it's, it's, a, it's a movement towards a greener future.